Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys checking today's video out. It's definitely never take that for granted. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a detailed tutorial slash seminar on springtime water temperatures. Um, there's not another time of year, guys, where water temperature plays such a critical role in the springtime. And I'm gonna give you guys uh, some good nuances and some foundational information that will really, uh, I think you can incorporate into your into your fishing game plan moving forward. So before we get started, guys, I just wanted to invite everybody if you haven't had a chance to <clears throat> please swing by fishthemoment.com and check out our spring lake map breakdowns. Uh, I'll include the fish the moment uh, lake map breakdown link in the description here. And if you want to learn more about any lake in the country, we got a, a big catalog of maps on the website. We can also build you a personal map breakdown. Um, it's just a great way to, to get some get 40 good GPS waypoints on every lake and gives you tips and advice on how to fish it. And we also offer virtual one-on-one uh, -on -one fishing lessons. So uh, check that out at fishthemoment.com, link in the description. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, I, I know a lot of y'all that uh, watch the channel, you know that you, you hear me talk about water temperature and water clarity all the time because you can't, you cannot be a bass fisherman and get good at bass fishing unless you have an intimate knowledge of water clarity and water temperature. And so, so what I want to talk about today is the spring time of the year and water temperatures and really how they affect fish movement and you know how to take advantage of that. So the first thing to remember is there's um, there's sort of there's three seasons within the spring season. You have the the, the pre-spawn period, the the actual spawn period, and the post-spawn period. Now this is usually uh, it, it's usually uh, spread out over at least three months because. I say, say for example, in this part of the country, I mean, every part of the country sort of got a different spring season, but in the mid part of the country, and really for most of the United States, unless you're way south or way north, uh, March is gonna be considered the pre-spawn, April is gonna be considered the spawn, and May is gonna be considered the post-spawn. That's a, a, a good generality, and there's, there, like I said, there are some fluctuations geographically with that, but I, I'm gonna say the vast majority of the country falls into those three things. Now the pre-spawn period is, um, it's that time of year when water temperatures begin to rise. And traditionally I consider bass starting to get in their pre-spawn uh, stages when that water temperature starts reaching about probably five degrees above its lowest water temperature point. So in other words, five to seven degrees. So, so say for example, here in Missouri, if we bottomed out at our water temperature at 42 degrees this year, once that water temperature starts to hit about 47, that, that sort of signals the beginning of the pre-spawn water temperature. Um, and it lasts on up until those water temperatures get into the mid to upper 50s, which is usually throughout the month of March. Now, what happens during this time of year, as far as what the water temperatures and the effect of fish have, it has a, uh, an effect on the, the female bass more than anything else. The larger female bass will begin getting a little bit more active and they'll also begin moving a little bit shallower. And they do this because they're moving up into their staging areas in preparation to spawn in April. Now, one of the things you gotta realize about this is not all the bass are doing the same thing at the same time. So I'm talking about what the majority of the bass are. When I talk about the majority, I'm gonna guess that probably 70% of the fish that I'm talking about in this particular tutorial will do what I'm telling you they're going to do. And then there's going to be 30% of the fish that do just oddball things earlier or later. So anyway, um, when you start to get in the pre-spawn period and you start to have those water temperatures pretty much in the 50s, upper 40s and the 50s, you're going to see a larger movement of the bass um, into shallow water. They're going to be setting up normally on secondary points and on steeper banks and mad main impoundments. Um, so if you're on a lake that has grass beds, you know, that they're going to be on the offshore grass bed flats. It really just depends on the cover available. And what they're trying to do is they're, they're feeding up. I mean, a lot of these fish are feeding in preparation for the expenditure of energy they're going to have when they're spawning. And uh, it's the best time of year to catch big fish. It's like the pre-spawn period when the water temperature is in the 50s is generally the best fishing as far as catching big fish that you're gonna have all year long. Now there may be better times to catch numbers, but I'm gonna guess that probably, man, out of 
all the all the big bass I've ever caught in my life, which I consider a big fish. I consider a big bass anything over four pounds. You know, obviously, you know, it's not a trophy, but I mean, to get to four pounds, a bass has got to overcome some incredible odds just to get to four pounds. So anyway, most, I'd say that at least um, half the bass I've caught over four pounds in my life have come in the month of March and the other 50% sort of scattered throughout the year. So it's a great time to take advantage of those times, you know, when those fish move shallow. And this is the time you want to use big baits, you know, big spinner baits, big swim baits, full size jigs, larger size jerk baits, you know, bigger baits for bigger fish um, normally at that time of year. Now the tra next transition occurs is once you start hitting that magical 60 degree mark. Now when the water temperatures start to hit about 60 degrees, now it could happen a little bit earlier, a little bit later based upon general weather patterns and uh, you know moon phases and all that type of stuff. But once you start hitting that 60 degree mark, which is normally in most lakes across the country sometime in April, you've got a large percentage of the bass that are actually actively spawning or looking to build nests, finding places to build nests, spawning, you know, building nests for spawning, all that type of stuff. The, the spawn is in full swing throughout the month of April, you know, depending upon, you know, a couple different conditions. And this spawn period, for the most part, is going to take place when those water temperatures are sort of like between 60 and maybe 67, 68 degrees in that range. And once they've sustained that period for a while, this spawn period is going to last for, you know, two to two to three weeks as the majority of the fish are going to spawn. Now, you're going to have outliers. Like I said, you're going to have 30 percent of the population of the bass that maybe spawn all the way up into June. But most of them are going to spawn, you know, usually in and around that first full moon in April when that water temperature is close to 60 degrees. That's going to be classified as the spawn. Um, and at those time of years, a lot of those fish are going to be in the coves, they're going to be in the flatter areas, they're going to be in the protected areas, uh, just looking for premium nesting areas. Now, once that water temperature starts to get in the upper 60s, where when you launch your boat in the morning, it's actually 68, 69, close to 70 degrees, you start having um, a transition into the post-spawn, the early post-spawn. And the post-spawn can last all the way up into June, depending upon where you're at. Um, and this, it's generally signaled from my opinion, my opinion is once those water temperatures start to hit 70 degrees, you're gonna have the majority of the bass, again, I'm guessing 70% of the bass are gonna be in that post-spawn phase. Now there's actually several different phases within the post-spawn period itself, because you've got the, the early, post-spawn, you've got the mid post-spawn, and you've got the late post-spawn. In the early post-spawn, when those water temperatures are in the low 70s, you still have a lot of bass that are in the same areas they spawned in. They're recuperating from spawning. They're in the areas garden fry. A lot of times they'll just, they'll spawn and they'll back off in the same areas and just sort of sulk out there and, and just not move around much. But they don't move much once that water temperature once they first start spawning, unless you're on some type of like a ledge lake, and then those fish will move to the ledges extremely quick. But in most man, -laden, man impoundments, they're going to hang around for a couple of weeks. Now the mid spawn, the, the mid post spawn, those fish are starting to filter out a little bit. They're starting to move out of those areas they spawned in. They're sort of setting up again on those, uh, you know, key post spawn areas within the spawning coves themselves. And in the late post-spawn, once those water temperatures start to get close to their summer temperatures, now say for example here in Missouri, once we start hitting the, the water temperatures in the mid-70s, the late post-spawn is going to be in effect mid, mid to late 70s, and those fish are going to uh, move a lot to deeper water. There's going to be a large percentage of those fish that move out into deeper water to, to truly recuperate and feed up again after spawning. Now a lot of this, guys, has to do with every lake's different and every lake is temperatures different and also every lake has different species of bass some some lakes have you know bigger largemouth populations some have bigger smallmouth spotted bass and every one of those does a little bit different because if you've got a lake that has a big smallmouth population those fish spawn earlier and the spotted bass population you know and the largemouth population they'll spawn you know later than the smallmouth and in general, what you're going to find also uh, with water temperatures in the spring 
is the smaller bass are gonna spawn later than the big bass. The big ones usually spawn a little bit earlier. So anyway, guys, that's just a general overview of water temperatures in the spring. There's, we could do an hour long seminar on this as far as techniques and that type of stuff. But uh, in general, like I said, use your big baits in the pre-spawn. In the, in the spawn time, you know, use like your wacky rigs and your Nico rigs and your shaky heads are gonna be really good. In the post-spawn, things like uh, top waters are gonna be good, swim jigs, you know, some type of crankbait's gonna be good. Um, and that's a general rule of thumb, but there's always exceptions to the rule. So anyway, guys, hope that uh, cleared it up a little bit. Again, thanks for tuning in and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't, we'll talk later, see you.